Whoa. Time flies, man. All right, so today we're doing a shadow and schmooze. This is where we just put on makeup, hang out, catch up, have some updates for you guys. I am trying out some new things, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes, doing an update on the Tatcha primer. So if you're excited for this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, so it's 8.30 p.m. right now. We're gonna get into why I'm filming at this time of the night. But I'm gonna start out with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer first and then we will get to talking. So I just did a review video on this comparing this to the next one and so far I've used this a few more times since filming that video. Really liking it. I feel like it's kind of a waste putting it on right now because I'm just going to be washing off this makeup afterwards but you know I just wanted to update you guys on it. So the only thing I don't like about this primer is that I do feel like it mattifies my face a bit so I definitely like to put on my dewy setting spray afterwards underneath my makeup and over my makeup to help out with that, but other than that, I do feel like it adds coverage to my foundation and overall just makes my makeup last longer. I was debating having coffee right now. I'm still debating in the middle of this debate in my head. This is a new one, Catrice Dewy Glow. I still have all my makeup packed in my suitcase and stuff, but I'm gonna spray this on. This thing is freaking amazing balls if you like dewy skin. One thing I don't like is that it burns my eyes, but you know. I'm willing to sacrifice my eyeballs for a glow. So I have some new products I'm trying out in this video and then also just doing makeup. Actually, most of them are actually kind of new products and uh, basically try and get a second win by putting on makeup. <laughs> so I'm gonna try out this stick foundation. Have not tried this yet by L'Oreal. This is their new infallible longwear shaping stick. That's all the product you get right there. This isn't quite dried down yet, but I was in San Diego for four nights, five nights, something like that. I got back two days ago, but this is actually the first time I've been in my apartment because it's gonna lead into another update. But a lot of you guys have been asking about the Tinder guy. We're still going strong. It's been a few months now and he had surgery, so I was helping him with his surgery thing for the last couple days. So I literally landed here, came back to my apartment for an hour, dropped off my suitcase, got my shit together, and then went over there and was there for a couple days. So I literally just got back here in my apartment this afternoon. And I cleaned and everything and then just like totally hit a wall and took a nap and was dead. Ooh, wait, what? That looks really pretty. I don't know why I wasn't expecting this to look that good. I was kind of expecting it to look more matte. I do not like the infallible matte foundation. It looks very chalky and just bad on my skin. This has a little bit, it could be, you know, the glowy setting spray coming through, but it looks really pretty on my skin. You can't really even see it. What was I saying? This is gonna be one of those shadow and schmoozes, guys. Just bear with me. So I'm filming this on Thursday. It's going up on Monday, but I have a ton of videos I need to film this weekend because just a lot's been going on. Traveling a lot. Oh yeah, let's blend the chin, shall we? This looks good. But I had stuff pre-filmed for San Diego, so I did get to just like totally unplug and hang out with my family. My cousins were visiting and stuff, so I just totally did not work. Enjoyed a little bit of a vacation. We went to the beach, ate lots of burritos and things. Obviously we have a new addition back here, so I did paint the closet doors black. Hi, my name is Zach Galifianakis. Welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns. A bunch of you guys said that you liked the lighting when I asked in one of my recent videos. So I'm glad everything you can like see more now and hopefully you still think so with the black walls. I like that it has like, you know, the contrast going on. I just didn't want totally white again. Just got kind of sick of it. And I personally like seeing like something going on in the background when I watch YouTube videos. I'm not a fan of like the blank background. It just feels too professional to me. <laughs> I like feeling like I'm hanging out with people, you know? This I tried at some point. I was just throwing stuff on my face before I left for San Diego, kind of figuring out what stuff I wanted to pack and keep trying out in San Diego. This one I didn't bring, but this is the new Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. So it's called in the shade one. First time I tried this, I didn't hate it. Didn't love it. So let's try it out again. Where's my concealer brush? It's right here. Look at that. It never happens. It is very yellow, the lightest shade. I think I tried the second lightest too. And same thing, it was pretty yellow. So just keep that in mind if you're 
kind of more around my undertone. But yeah, so this weekend's gonna be major filming weekend. I have a couple weddings coming up, which I'm excited for. And then I'm possibly booking a trip to Spain and Portugal really randomly, last minute, how I book all of my trips. Because when I find a good flight deal, I basically book like the opposite way. I find a good flight deal and then I figure out where I'm going based on that. If you try and like pick specific dates and pick a place, that's when you can't find cheap flights. If you go in reverse and are just like, I'll go anywhere. That's how you do it. So I found $450 round trip tickets to Spain. So I think I'm gonna do it the flight days were in October, which seems like it's far away, but there's so much stuff coming up. And then I'm also trying to kind of plan another trip around the next 15 days of foundation, which I'll be talking a little bit more about soon, but we're starting to work on it. The next one will be in the winter, but Project Be Share and I have already started talking about it and working on things and it's gonna be exciting. So I kinda need to plan my trips around that too when I need to start pre-filming because that takes me a long time. Guys, 15 days of foundation is friggin' exhausting. I actually should just plan the trip for after it to have like a total unplugged break afterwards, but yeah, maybe I should do that actually. So it's definitely on the lighter coverage side. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of another concealer on top because my dark circles are still kinda coming through. This one is a little bit darker, the Flower Beauty Light Illusion, but I just wanna get some coverage going there. But if you've spent a lot of time in Spain or Portugal or you live there, let me know what cities and towns and stuff I should for sure see. I think I'm planning on flying into Barcelona and then doing like the little coastal towns in October is apparently a good time to go. And then I would just continue on over to Portugal and then go up. I'm just gonna go by myself and do like another solo trip. I really like solo traveling. But the next upcoming wedding I'm going to is in Spokane and I found this super cool Airstream today on Airbnb that I'm gonna be staying in. Pretty sure I still have a like $20 off link or something if you've never used Airbnb. So these are the new cargo swimmables. These are like waterproof blush and bronzer, so I'm gonna try this. But yeah, Airbnb is just so much more fun than like staying in a hotel, and a lot of times it's way cheaper. Like the ones that I was looking at were literally half the price of hotels. This is looking a little bit dark. It looks like it has a little bit of sheen to it. I'm gonna take this giant duo fiber brush by Sigma. Blend this out. This is the F50. This has like a massive handle. Look at that, it's like longer than my face. <gasps> this is pretty. Wow, wait, is that what I just used? <laughs> At a certain angle in this light, this looked like it was the blush. I'm gonna try this brush for blush too. So here's what the blush looks like now. This is in the shade Bali. Ooh, ooh. Looks like this has a little bit of a glow too. This brush feels hella soft, but super pretty. This looks like a very summery blush. Who the heck is ready for fall? I'm ready, I'm all in. After the San Diego trip, now I feel like I've had my sun, I've had enough summer, I'm in it to win it for fall. So this is new from Wet n Wild. This is their Zodiac Collection Mega Glow. It's called Written in the Stars Loose Highlighting Powder. I'm always confused why like loose highlighters are this massive because is anyone gonna go through this? This is a highlighter. We might not use this. That looks like straight up glitter. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. It looks like a loose glitter to me. I'm gonna pass on that guy. So instead I'm gonna try this Ulta Beauty baked highlighting trio thing. I haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna go with the shade Skylight. I got a good call today about the cameras. I think I mentioned in a vlog, my last moving vlog, about I had three broken cameras. One fully broken DSLR, the 70D, one semi-broken 80D, and then a fully broken Canon G7X, the vlog camera I use. So I took it into the camera shop and they called me today and I had weirdly good luck with this. This never happens to me with Canon cameras. There was some manufacturing issue with the 70D that I had so they are sending me a brand new one for free, even though it's not under warranty anymore. So if you've had a broken 70D, it might be worth having them check out, even if it's not under warranty anymore, because maybe your camera has the same issue. I was like shocked because usually Canon is a pain in the friggin' butt to deal with. Since I've been on YouTube, I think I've consistently had to replace my DSLR almost every like year and a half because it breaks. I'm really feeling this blush. And that highlight's super pretty. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm going with my Maybelline Tattoo Studio brow gel. I should probably comb these out first, huh? Has anyone gotten this lasered, like your 
growth right here. I actually don't even think I could because now that I'm thinking about it, I dye my hair black. Sometimes I forget that this isn't my actual hair color. So I've had it like this for like 10 years now. I actually don't feel like I need to add more of the dewy setting spray right now. <laughs> Voice just disappeared for a second. So speaking of lasering, I've briefly mentioned my uh, traumatizing experience with Brazilian laser hair removal on Snapchat and a bunch of you guys messaged me saying to talk more about it in a video. It wasn't traumatizing, it was, it's just intense, but I've done two sessions of Brazilian laser hair removal. So bikini line is different than Brazilian. Brazilian is like everything. <laughs> like we're talking, they flip you on your side, part the seas. I found like a Groupon or Living Social or something for this place I've been going to that they had a really good deal. It was like six sessions for like 350 bucks or something and they had really good reviews on Yelp and everywhere so I did it and I've had a really good experience so far but I've never had laser hair removal anything before this because the rest of my hair is blonde naturally so I can't laser anything else. I can't laser my legs. I would 100% laser my whole body if I could. By the way, we're gonna try out the Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. So this is the vault collection. I'm sure everyone has heard of these by now, but there's four in here. I know there were like a bunch of issues with people getting bad versions and PR or whatever. Mine, I'm pretty sure are the new ones because I just received these like before San Diego, so like a week ago. So I'm pretty sure this is like the new batch, the correct batch. Hopefully, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We're just trying out eyeshadow, okay? This is just another palette. I wanna use this purple palette today. This one's called Bling Boss, the purple shades. I'm gonna start out with Hush Hush right here. But anyways, laser hair removal, Brazilian. Brazilian laser hair removal is no joke. I have a pretty high pain tolerance. I think just from having chronic pain and stuff. Parts are like no problem at all. Like, oh, we're gonna get real graphic here, I don't really care. The top part, like where you get your bikini line and stuff, was like nothing. It's like one out of ten. Certain parts, at least on me, I don't know if it's because I get really bad razor burn too, so maybe that like adds to it, but certain parts were eight out of ten. I needed a stress ball. I was schwitzing. It actually was a guy who was doing it, which someone messaged me about because I think it said he or something in the Snapchat, and I feel so much better about having a guy do that than a girl for some reason. I don't know, like some people have guy gynos. My gyno is a woman. Since they're so up in there, I don't know, I just felt like better about having a guy do it. We need to start putting on eyeshadow. I feel like they're less judgy or something. That part, it actually like wasn't as awkward as I thought it was gonna be because we're just like talking and stuff the whole time. But yeah, so I'm on the second session and they say you're supposed to get a 30%, I think, hair reduction every time. So I did see a difference after the first time already, like it started growing back slower. The second time, so far it's only been two days. I got it the day I landed. I, so when I came here, I went straight from here to that appointment to my other stuff. So I got it the day I landed back here, so two days ago. So if I haven't noticed like a big difference yet between the first and second session. So six sessions is like the total amount to hopefully be hairless. Wasn't predicting talking about bad hair on here, but okay. So I'm gonna go with the shade Rockstar right here. If I only have to do it four more times and then I'll never have hair again, for me that's totally worth it. Rather than like getting waxed and then having to do that for the rest of your life and do it more often or whatever. One part on my leg when I was in Jordan, I tried to wax it myself and still that part on my leg grows back slower and less than the rest of my body. So maybe I should just start waxing my legs. I have a lot of hair. I'm Jewish, I've got a lot of hair. And my hair grows back like friggin' sandpaper. I'm not exaggerating the next day. Like if I shave at night, the next morning I will have scratchy, sandpaper, thick ass leg hair. It's glorious. We're learning a lot about me right now. If that is also you and you wax or sugar or something, let me know what you like best. I did sugar my legs when I was in Jordan. Here, sugaring is like the same price as waxing. It was like $5 in Jordan. I know a lot of parts of Europe, sugaring is really popular too and it's way cheaper. My issue with waxing is that then you have to wait for it to like fully grow out, you know? I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit with Mystic right here, this darker purple. And I'm gonna take that on a smaller little brush. This is the Sigma E54. Just applying that to like the very outermost portion right there. So I'm actually gonna be kind of semi cutting my crease with some concealer and stuff today. So I'm just being kind of messy with this right there since it's gonna be covered up anyways. So I took out my extensions. I don't know if I ever like fully said that in a video. My extensions have been out for 
a couple, mm, no, like maybe a month now, I think. No, a couple months. Whoa. Time flies, man. And it's been so nice not just dealing with them. When I had them, I didn't feel like it was that much work, but now that I don't have them in, I don't know, it just feels so good to like not have to worry about the extensions at all, especially in the summer. And I do feel like my hair has started to grow a little bit faster. I did a whole video about taping extensions and fusions and just my experience and everything and my hair color, just all about my hair. In that video, I talked about possibly doing a video on how I grew, grew my hair so fast. So I think I still am gonna do that. Actually, maybe I'll film that one this weekend. I had a really solid video idea brainstorm sesh the other night where I just came up with a lot of good new ideas that I'm excited for. Sometimes it's hard to just keep things fresh, like not, not only for you guys, but for myself too, because I wanna be excited about the things I'm filming and I want you guys to be excited about the things you're watching. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some concealer. I'm just gonna use NARS Ultra Radiant because I couldn't find my shape tape. This is in the shade Chantilly, the lightest one. So when I did my makeup the other day in the Tatcha video, I did my eyeshadow totally different. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of what I did that day because I really liked how that turned out. It looked like a lot cleaner and I did carve it out with concealer, which normally I never do. I haven't tried this with the NARS concealer, so hopefully this works the same. Last time I used it with shape tape and that one's good because it dries down really quickly. But I'm just bringing this a little bit higher because it makes my eye look bigger right there. Like look at the difference already. I'm gonna be putting shadow over top of this. I'm basically just gonna be blending a middle tone like purple right there and then blending it into something lighter. I don't know why I had never done this before. I felt like for some reason on my eye shape, it like wouldn't work. Just, it really helps somehow. Hardest thing for me is just making my eyeshadow look symmetrical because my eyes are totally different. I think I wanna do this really bright purple gem right right there, right on the middle. This gem shade I have high hopes for because the purple in the other Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette was bomb. I'm not gonna wet my brush first, I just wanna see how this does with the brush. So I'm just gonna pat this on right over top. Not bringing it too far in because I'm gonna apply a lighter shade right there. That color is beautiful. Halsey has a little bit more purple in it. I think we're gonna go in with Ballsy. I'm gonna spray my brush for Ballsy. House updates, I've been updating you guys in moving vlogs. I just posted the last moving vlog, number seven. And I think I am gonna keep vlogging every now and then because it seemed like a bunch of you guys have been enjoying them and I really like making them. So I think we are gonna keep the vlogs coming as probably like just bonus videos every now and then. So first I'm just kind of like melting that into the other purple shade. I think I am gonna put something even lighter right there. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with house stuff now. I have a couple random things like this room. I still need to get like a swivel stool for right here so I can adjust it while I'm filming. I need to get a table for my monitor because I've just been using the tiny monitor on my camera. I need to do something more with this room because I, it's just random. It basically just has like my filming setup and my makeup storage and my closet right now. I haven't been using that desk at all to work on or anything. I've been working mostly in the dining room at the dining room table. And then I have a couple things I wanna add to the bedroom. I'm gonna be getting old like French doors that I've been, I've been trying to find them on Craigslist or off wrap and refinish them and then put them behind my bed almost as like a headboard. But other than that, pretty much done. Feels good. I'm gonna take my finger with that same shade. Ooh, look at that. Finger's the way to go, man. I'm gonna go back in with this shade, spray my brush with this and pop this on the inner corner. Oh, I remember what else I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I'm gonna be switching over my merch to a new website. So it'll be better quality. I do still definitely want international shipping available, but I wanna come out with some new designs and stuff, but that's what I'm working on. It'll probably be a while because I need to get samples and stuff from the new places to make sure that I wanna use them. But you guys gave me some good recommendations for places on Twitter, so I'm definitely gonna be leaving Teespring. So just a heads up, if you've been planning on ordering or something and you want to hold off until I have the new designs out and new platform, then that will be coming soon. I also want to find a new platform for the next uh, 15 Days Foundation stuff, so it's just good timing to switch everything over. Let me know. We don't want to do just t-shirts this time for 15 Days of Foundation for charity for Project Beauty Share, so let me know what you guys want. Would you want coffee mugs? Do you want like tumblers? I think I'm actually gonna try this out. This is the Pop uh, Flash Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow. This reminds me of the Stila Liquid Glitters. This is in Cosmic Confetti. This looks really pretty, so I'm gonna add a little bit of this right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, heck yeah. 
whoa, it's like certain light, you can't see it at all, and then boom. That is super pretty. Okay, I just added a little bit of, whoops. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna go with some liquid liner. This is the Sigma Liquid Pen. This stuff is super black, so it's good for going over any kind of like glitter or super metallic shadows. I'm gonna add some black liner to my waterline. This is a Catrice gel liner pen, by the way. So I'm gonna take Gem on my flat edge brush. Even though this is metallic, I just wanna really like bright pop of purple on the lower lash line, and then I'll blend it out with something else. I don't think I have, have any fallout so far with these shadows, which is nice. Now I'm gonna blend a little bit of Rockstar down there. Okay, then going black with the flat edge brush, I'm gonna go in with Mystic again, just to deepen it a little bit. I wanna add Bling Bling, I think, to just right there, right on the bottom. It looks like it's gonna be kind of like a glittery mess, like that's gonna have a shit ton of fallout in the pan, but like adheres well to the brush. So for lashes, I think I'm gonna use the Samantha Number no. Sevens by Huda Beauty. Ooh, no we're not. I just pulled off a whole strand of hair. Whoops. So instead, I'm just gonna use my good old Pure Diva lashes. These are one of my favorite lashes. Okay, so my lashes are on, and for lipstick, I'm gonna try these, a combo of, I think, two of these, the lighter ones. I want like a light nudie. These are by BH Cosmetics. This is their liquid linen. There's Martha and Natalie. I might start out with this one, actually. This is Evelyn. Wow, this is like the tiniest font ever on here. And have a darker base, and then I'll blend some of the lighter shade on top. It's now a 1010, and I am freaking starving. I didn't eat dinner. I definitely should have ate dinner before I filmed this. I think I'm gonna try this one, which is Natalie. Oh yeah, this one's like more cool toned. Oh yeah, this was the shade I used. Look at how friggin' pretty that shade is. Oh yeah. These feel comfortably matte. Like they don't feel too, too drying. All right, so I think this is the final look, finished shadow and schmooze. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I have a whole shadow and schmooze playlist too if you wanna go back and watch any other shadow and schmooze videos. I have tons of them. But my Jaclyn Hill palette, I didn't have any issues with. So I'm gonna keep playing around with them, but I really like the gem shade. That is like a beautiful, bright, bright purple shade. I'm gonna go eat dinner at 10 p.m. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.